What's up, guys? Iceman here. Welcome to the Diablo Research Institution. Appreciate you guys for coming by. Like this damn video, if you will. Subscribe to the page and swap that bell so you're notified next time I post a video. And blessings to my patrons. May you have many wives. Links in the description below. So in this video, I wanted to showcase the top 10 beginner entry level sorceress unique items. All right. Some of these items are still quite useful even later in the game, but they can be attained early, early on. And I think the first one might excite some of you because I know it excited me. It is the original helm that was kind of an end game helm back in the early days of Diablo 2. Even whirlwind barbarians would be wearing this helm. Do you know what I'm talking about? Check it out. It's the unique skull cap tarn helm. And this thing, I remember finding this in like act one, <laughs> normal mode. You could find it from Andariel if you were really, really lucky. And back in the day, it was one of the only helms that you could get or the only helm that had one to all skills. And the magic find was quite nice. It's almost equivalent to Shaco. Uh, at max, it is equivalent to Shaco in terms of this magic find. But it has 75 gold find as well. But Turnhelm is just one of those early entry-level helms that is just so epic if you find it early on. And then, we have an amulet. Similarly to the Tarnhelm, it also, back in the day was the only amulet that gave one to all skills. I'm talking about the Eye of Etlech, level 15 requirement as well. I remember back in the day, I found this somewhere in Act 2. I think it was on the way to Duriel in the tombs or something. But a very fine amulet nonetheless. Level 15 requirement, one to all skills, some cold damage, life leech, defense versus missiles, plus five to light radius, a godly AF stat. But nonetheless, it's cheap, it's simple, it's a very basic, low-level, unique, that I think is quite ideal for a sorceress. Even though you're not benefiting from the life leech or the cold damage, one to all skills really matters early on in D2, so that's what that is. And now, one of the earliest uniques that I ever found and one of the most basic items that you can get in Diablo 2, a sash. However, I upgraded this into a demon hide sash. So it's kind of like string of ears. Only it's not. It's Lenimo. Very low level requirement. Uh, this one is 24 now because I upgraded it to a demon hide. But nonetheless, interesting little belt. Especially if you find it in the Den of Evil or something like that where 15 mana really matters and regenerate mana 30%, pretty nice stat as well. And all res plus five. So let's go into the cold plains real quick and just see, oh my God, look at the thunderstorm. Look at the thunderstorm destroy, uh, except for these um, lightning immunes. There's a frozen orb. Yeah, the Thunderstorm. Really should be upgraded, but yeah, 3600 damage. Alright, so let's continue on with the list. Let's see what else we have here. The weapon. An exceptional item. Alright, it's a wand, but you can wield it with a sorceress nonetheless. It's not quite up to par with Wizard Spike, the elite dagger. And it's not as stylish, maybe, as Culwin's Point, which was uh, the unique war sword that basically every sorceress was wielding back in the day, because it was one of the only ways to get plus one to all skills. But nonetheless, it's an exceptional wand. Suicide Branch Burnt Wand. And I put a all res and 10 MF jewel in this thing, so it's been buffed up a little bit. But nonetheless, Suicide Branch gives plus one to all skills. A massive 50% faster cast rate. So more FCR than what you would get from a Hoto or an Aki by just a little bit. 
So it's quite nice in that regard. Uh, same as Wizard Spike. They both have 50 uh, FCR. 40 to life. Increased maximum mana. 10%. All res. It has some all res on it. it has, uh, I think it's all res plus 10. Because I put an all res 15 jewel in there. Some attacker takes damage. And then you get the MF from the jewel. But uh, Suicide Branch. A very nice beginner entry level unique for the sorceress and then the gloves one that we all know quite well and one that i decided to go with maybe not the cheapest of the two necessarily compared to frostburn probably the more desired in general for a caster mage fest light gauntlets you can find these in act two normal mode if you're lucky uh, if you're lucky, you'll find him off Duriel. Of course, his drops are usually complete ass, but you never really know. But yeah, what an exciting drop these can be, especially if you're a caster, and especially if you're a fire-based character. The only gloves in the game that give plus one to fire skills. In fact, they're the only gloves in the game that give plus to any skills, except for the rare gloves that give uh, javelin crap. Uh, Trang's gloves that give curses so not quite but I mean they give a, a branch of skills the fire skills there's bone crossbow javelin spear gloves right let me know if I'm missing anything curses gloves with Trang's but nonetheless 20% faster cast rate so a very desirable mod to get on the gloves and with this character uh, with this cheap build I actually have 80% faster cast rate so it's quite nice a little bit of fire damage, a little bit of defense, and another very nice mod, regenerate mana, 25%. So mage fists are quite nice on a caster. In fact, these can take you all the way to end game, and you'll probably still be wearing them then, because it's the only way outside of trying gloves to get 20% faster cast rate on gloves. And then we have the ring. All right, a low level unique ring. Um, that you can find in like Tristram if you're lucky. Nagel Ring, level 7 requirement. Very nice ring early on. Get some attack rating, some magic damage reduction, which really adds up over time. Attacker takes damage of 3, so little Fallens will be swatting you and they'll be dying at the swat. You just feel really godly when monsters are hitting you and they just die. But it's not going to last long. Once you get to Act 2, it's not going to matter as much. But still, if you add that stuff up, it, it factors in. 30% better chance of getting magic items. This one is maxed out. So a godly, perfect Nagel Ring. You can't go wrong with a perfect Nagel Ring. And Ring number 2. Mandled Heal. Now, is it the best for the Sorceress? Probably not. Casters, of course, in Diablo 2 do not take advantage of mana stolen per hit. They do, however, take advantage of mana after each kill. Most of your skills do anyway. Thunderstorm will not. Hydras will not. But nonetheless, it's a cute little stat to have. And if you wanted to swat something with a staff early on, you can. And maybe you'll even steal some mana if you're lucky. Plus 20 to life. Very nice mod for Sorceress. Replenish life plus 8 a little bit of healing power there. Very nice mod for the Sorceress as well. And regenerate mana 20%. So you're going to keep that shit up. What's our warmth do, by the way? Warmth is level 8 right now, which equates to a mana recovery rate of 114%. So yeah, just add all that on top of it and you're good to go. All right, let's see what else we have now. What oddity are on her feet? Unique boots? Hot spur. They're cheap. They're effective. And they can give you a freaking crazy fire res if you max out your fire res. And in this case, I have not. But I mean, 15 to maximum fire is, is just ridiculous in Diablo 2. So, wearing these boots alone takes you up to a 90% fire res. 
fire res if you max it out. It's just crazy. And they also give you a fire res plus 45% and 15 to life. So there's actually a lot of duelers who use these boots because they can fire, uh, fight against fire builds and uh, have a lot of survivability against them. But yeah, they are helpful, of course, throughout the game. Cast Sanctuary, Throne of Destruction. There's just fire everywhere, so it helps a lot. All right, now don't judge me too harshly for this. But the shield slot is actually not a unique item, all right? It's a rune word, and it's a very effective way to get plus one to skills on your shield with a few other nice mods in a cheap sort of manner. All you need is an F and a Lum rune. We're talking about Splendor, and I made this one in a bone shield. Eth Lum. Godly as a freaking toad shield. Plus one to all skills. Yes, gone are the days where we wield Saigon's shield for the plus one to skills. No. Now we can wield Splendor and still be really, really cheap. So, one to all skills, 10% faster cast rate, 20% faster block rate, some defense, 10 energy, regen mana, 15%, 50% extra gold, 20% better chance of getting magic items, and plus 3 to light radius, a godly AF stat. But there you have it. <clears throat> the sorcerer with basically... <clears throat> Kind of a random top 10 cheapo uniques that you can utilize that are actually quite helpful. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the list. What would you add to it? What would you take away from it? Let me know in the comments below. Like this damn video if you will. Subscribe to the page. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace be with you.